10 News starts right now. Right now, 3.30, trouble on the tracks. Another crash involving the Brightline train earlier today. A pedestrian was airlifted to the hospital after she was struck. Local 10's Roy Ramos joins us from North Miami with the story. Reported on a number of incidents involving bright line trains. This crash, just the most recent, and it happened right here on the tracks in Northeast Miami Dade. We're told that the woman was struck while trying to cross the tracks, but it is police now working to find out what she was doing there in the first place. Sky 10 above a Northeast Miami Dade intersection after a person was struck on the tracks by a bright line train. North Miami police responded to Northeast 14th Avenue and 125th Street just after 7 this morning to find the victim remarkably still alive but with serious injuries. The young woman was transported to Jackson's Ryder Trauma Center by air rescue where she's now being treated for her injuries. But this incident is just the latest of crashes involving the high speed railway. Since service restarted following a pause due to the pandemic, we have reported on at least 22 crashes on the tracks. Some where drivers go around the down crossing arms attempting to beat the the train, others deliberate with people sadly taking their own lives. It was just last month when Brightline received $25 million in federal funds, along with $10 million from FDOT and another $10 million they contributed for construction of safety features. While local leaders say these enhancements will save lives, there is still no word on if they could have stopped the latest victim from being struck. I have reached out to Brightline. They referred us to North Miami police. We have touched base with them. They say they are continuing their investigation. As soon as we get the more details, we'll be sure to let you know. For now, in Northeast Miami-Dade, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.